So our next presenter, um, listed as a secret presenter, it was based on how much time he had to kind of complete this uh, model. You've seen this cart uh, for a few years, and each time there's been a different variation. And uh, how many of you know Peter up here? He, he's uh, you know been producing material before probably most of the uh, people in this room probably have he ever heard of the term free energy. Um, you know, his journey started way back, and he was uh, one of the uh, contributors and uh, was with the organization Borderland Science Research Foundation, uh, going quite a ways back with Eric Dollard and, and some other people who were kind of the pioneers in a lot of the research, bringing it up front, where uh, if it wasn't for Borderlands and the work that Peter and the rest of them did, a lot of the big names in alternative energy and some of these strange Tesla-type sciences Many people not, might not even know about a lot of these things. Uh, back in about 20 or 2008 or so, um, uh, bo both of us were working together and, and co-founded A&P Electronic Media, which is what kind of kicked off a lot of the book and videos with uh, some of uh, uh, John Bedini's SG Technologies and, and you know, books dealing with solar and, and battery rejuvenation. And in about 2012, that's where uh, Peter, myself, and John Bedini started doing these conferences again back in 2012. And uh, over that time, he had done uh, quite a few different presentations on uh, open system thermodynamics. Um, if you want to uh, learn more about the type of physics involved in so-called free energy systems, you know, there's two branches of thermodynamics. One is closed systems. and the average person doesn't know that there's a whole branch of open system thermodynamics that says that if you have a system that's open to environmental input, you can have a system freely produce way more than what you put in because obviously there's extra input coming into the system external from your own. So it doesn't mean more out than going in, it's more out than what you put in. And that's one of the best presentations anybody can uh, uh, learn from to understand that whole uh, world of open systems. There's quite a few other presentations um, running a few minutes behind, so help me welcome Peter Lindemann. Thank you. you, gotta, you gotta. Since my retirement uh, at the end of 2016, I've you know uh, continued to be on the edge of this situation, and, and every time that um, it looks like I'm going to have some time during the conference, I tell Aaron, hey, uh, you know, I can throw something together and put together another educational cart and that kind of stuff. And so that's why I keep showing up and saying that I'm out of retirement for five minutes and that kind of stuff. But, you know, at, at some point, uh, you know, I, I, I am doing other activities in my life and I am um, trying to kind of uh, move, move beyond this. And one of the reasons I feel like I can do that is because um, what's happening now is just so firmly, um, you know, established, and that all of you are learning all of this, you know, at a extremely accelerated rate from the rates that I learned it, and um, I'm just thrilled that uh, me stepping back from, um, you know, what I've been doing uh, in this field for the last 40 years has, um, you know, created a, a foundation that can help everybody you know go to the next step so thank you all for self-selecting you you know your interest in this for continuing to come here and learn more and run your own experiments and learn this stuff um, because um, it matters it's going to help build a better world um, this demonstration, again, um, last year I showed, um, we were supposed to actually do a bit of a demonstration during the, the conference, it didn't happen, but I was demonstrating in the back room all, all uh, weekend the, um, the work of uh, Carlos Benitez, 
Uh, he was the first one um, who was, he was granted patents in um, between 1915 and 1919 on a, on a battery, on a four battery switching system that ran indefinitely and really was the, the grandfather of all of these types of um, systems that can run appliances indefinitely from batteries. And uh, the, you know, when, when I started working with John, the, the, the methodologies of these things were, were kind of hazy. We, weren't, we didn't really understand how batteries worked very well. We, um, we had uh, Tom Bearden's explanations of what was going on in the batteries and you know, all this negative energy, positive energy, and all these different um, types of, of terminologies. And, and um, you know, we applaud um, Tom Bearden for stepping up and being the only one interested you know, in those early years in the 70s and 80s to work with John and try and come up with a theory of why his machines worked. And um, though we ended up um, coming up with slightly different explanations for how they worked than Tom Bearden originally came up with um, that fit more into a Teslian um, kind of uh, terminology, the, the bottom line for these types of devices was the battery. And John always said, you know, it's the battery, it's the battery. Um, but nobody really understood why. And so what I want to do, I was talking about this last year to people who came and we um, I demonstrated the cart there. But I want to I want to talk about this. This is this is you know a standard SG. This is a, a model made from parts from you know built by Tesla Genix. So there's nothing here that anybody couldn't actually duplicate, literally duplicate. The the SG this this machine just so you can see there's two motor drive coils down in the bottom. They're driven by these two circuits here. Um, and these other four coils here are generator coils. They are not connected in any way to the batteries or anything else. The output of these things is ca gathered on these um, full wave bridge rectifiers, brought down to a small capacitor back here, and, is w and that's what's driving these lights. So um, even though this is happening all at flea power, um, it's demonstrating a number of, of important issues, and that was the whole point. John and I didn't want to show anybody how to build a home power plant because that would just get everybody in trouble. But we did want to show you the fundamental um, uh, principles of what a fully self-running machine that produced useful output would look like and what, what types of, of phenomena you're going to want to try and capture and where and how. So um, this is a standard um, you know, SG thing. We, um, we turn uh, the, the, the trigger winding turns the magnet on, or the, the electro coil on as the magnet approaches. So this is running in the attraction mode as in the books. And um, then when the magnet gets to the um, alignment with the thing, it shuts off and the inductive collapse goes back to another set of batteries. So what we have here in this particular situation is we have um, three batteries, um, one that we're running from, one that we're recharging to, and another which is a large storage system.